These drones are roaming Dublin skies. But this command centre isn't coordinating military missions. They're here to attack your hunger. So how does the system work? So you're sitting at home and you decide you want a snack. So you take out your phone, open up an app and place an order. So far, nothing unusual about that, but this will be a delivery with a difference. Instead of waiting by your front door for the delivery to arrive, instead, you prepare a landing zone. A few minutes later, the buzzing sound indicates it's almost time to eat. Those drone operators back at base are now using the camera to make sure the landing area is clear of any obstacles, so i better get out of the way. So that was all pretty smooth sailing. The bags we dropped into the garden. The drone is just about to release the string now. There we go. The drone will head off. And here's the food packaged in two bags. Plenty of lovely donuts or drone nuts. The drone company MANA has carried out almost 50,000 flights in an area of West Dublin since last year. And the advantage is it's quieter, it's safer, it's greener and it's better for business generally um, than the road-based alternatives. I think the surprise is that we sell a lot of fresh eggs. And I think the people are trying to test us to see if we can deliver something as delicate as fresh egg. But not all residents are convinced of the benefits. Noise is their main complaint. Here's another one. That's the start of it. Yeah, lunchtime. Four drones flew overhead while we were in Mark's house. There was another one, yeah? Yeah, coming back from another coffee delivery. It is very stressful, yeah. When it's constant, you can't relax. Yeah. It's not, it's, this is across the, the board in the estates. It's not just me and Florence. It's actually, there's a lot of concerns about it. The company points to a Trinity College study showing its drones have relatively low decibel levels. We know from the science that we're far less noise than just general background urban noise and we're continually investing. We have new technology coming out in propulsion and propellers. Although the regulatory environment in the UK is more challenging, MANA is determined to have this service in British skies by next year. A greener way to get your coffee or a noisy nuisance. Either way, if regulators can be convinced, drones could be the future of food delivery.